okay good morning students in the previous class we have discussed the cell the unit of life in that one we have discussed the cell theory and we are discussing the concept the overview of the cell and some of you people have confused so regarding with the cell theory so today i will start with the cell theory okay this cell theory was proposed by two scientists Clayton and the Swan. Okay, the cell theory was proposed by two scientists, Clayton and Swan. So this Clayton, he is a German. botanist okay german botanist he studied many plants sclerer is a german botanist he studied many plants in all the plants he observed that the presence of cell in all the plants he observed that the presence of cell and this cell will becomes tissue these cells will becomes tissue in the year 1838 thus leader a german botanist studied many plants in each plant it consists the cell and the cell will forms the tissue and the cell will forms the tissue the next one Swan, a British geologist. Swan is a British geologist. In eighteen thirty-nine, he studied. many animals he studied many animals in all the animals cell is present in all the animals cell is present and this cell the outer membrane in the animal cell the outer membrane is thin outer membrane is thin then he call this as it is a plasma membrane along with this this swan also studied plant cell along with this this man studied plant cell he observed that the presence of cell 
he observed that the presence of cell okay in this cell what happens the outer layer is thick in the plant cell the outer layer is thick and due to this thick it is called as cell wall okay swan is a british zoologist he studied both animals and plants okay in the animals when he observed the cell the outer membrane is thin when he observed, and that thin membrane he is called as plasma membrane along with this he studied the plant cell okay in that plant it consists the cell in that plant it consists the cell okay that cell outer layer is thick and that is called as cell wall then he told that And he told that what the cell wall is unique characteristic of plants. Okay, so this is the Sladen and Swan observation. Along with these, these two scientists have proposed cell theory. Okay, so in the cell theory, it consists of some of the points. That is, each and every cell consists of the cytoplasm. Inside the cytoplasm, it consists of the membrane bond structure called nucleus okay so this is the first one the next one cell is similar in structure and function cell is similar in structure and function this is the second observation next observation is that The next observation is that each organism is made up of cell and its product. So this is the cell theory. But they have failed to explain. But they have failed to explain how the how the new cells are produced okay this cell theory fails to explain how the new cells are produced so this cell theory was modified by
Rudolf Virtue. And he said that He said that the, the new cells are produced by the pre-existing cell. Pre-existing cell means the earlier cell. So this is the earlier cell. This is the earlier cell. This cell will undergo the division to produce the new cell. This will undergo the division to produce the new cell. This concept was proposed by the scientist called as Rudolf Virchow. Okay, so this he called that as Ominous. This we call that as ominous cellula a cellula. So these are the concept will be comes under cell theory. Okay. So after this one, we will discuss the next concept that is called as an overview of the cell. Okay, in the previous class, we have already started the discussion regarding the overview of cell. Okay, in that one, we have discussed the presence of cell wall in the plant cell and it is absent in the animal cell. And we have discussed the cytoplasm, nucleus, all these concepts we have discussed. Okay, so here, Here what happens, the basically the cell will be grouped into two types that is called as prokaryotic cell as well as eukaryotic cell. Okay, so here in the eukaryotic, prokaryotic cell,
So this is the prokaryotic cell and these are the eukaryotic cell. So here what happens? In the prokaryotic cell, what happens? The nuclear membrane is absent. In the prokaryotic cell, the nuclear membrane is absent. Here, nuclear membrane is absent in the prokaryotic cell, whereas in the eukaryotic cell, the nuclear membrane is present. So this is the one of the difference. Okay, along with this, it consists. Along with this, in the both prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell, in both prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell, a homogeneous gel material is present. A homogeneous gel material is present. That gel material is called as cytoplasm. In both prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell what happens the gel material is present that gel material is called as cytoplasm and this cytoplasm is the What is that? This cytoplasm is the active site for the metabolical activities. The cytoplasm is the active site of the for the metabolical activities. Okay, then the amount of cytoplasm, the amount of cytoplasm will be depends upon the size and shape of the cell. Okay, the amount of the cytoplasm will be depends on the shape and size of the cell. So this is the prokaryotic cell and this is the eukaryotic cell. Okay, in the eukaryotic cell, it consists of membrane bond structure in the eukaryotic cell it consists membrane bond structure that membrane bond structures are called as organelles the membrane bond structure that membrane bond structure is called as organelles okay in this one the organelles are In both prokaryotic eukaryotic cell, in both eukaryotic cell, it consists of the membrane bond structure that is mitochondria, Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, the 
माइक्रोट्यूब्यूल वैक्यूम ओके अलॉन्ग विथ दिस chlorocarb i am telling remember this i am telling these organelles are present in eukaryotic cell but as i told this chloroplast it is present only in the plant cell i am not differentiating plant cell and animal cell only i am counting eukaryotic cell in this one it consists membrane bond structure organelle that is mitochondria golgi complex endoplasmic reticulum microtubules vacuoles chloroplast all these are the membrane bound structure that is organelles are present in eukaryotic cell but these are absent so membrane bound organelles are absent in prokaryotic cell okay the membrane bound organelles are present only in the eukaryotic cell and it is absent only in the prokaryotic cell okay so this is the one of the concept okay along with this along with this what happens in the prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell the along with this in the prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell what is present non membrane organelles are present okay non membrane organelles are present that is ribosome okay in both prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell what is present the non membrane organelles are present that is called as ribosome okay this ribosome is present in both it is present in both prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell what is that the non membrane organelle that is called as ribosome is present in both prokaryotic cell as well as eukaryotic cell okay it is present in the cytoplasm of the prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell it is present in the cytoplasm of prokaryotic cell as well as the eukaryotic cell along with this 
the ribosomes are also being present the ribosomes are present inside the inside the two cell organelles the ribosomes are present inside the two cell organelles that is mitochondria and chloroplast the ribosomes are present in both prokaryotic cell as well as eukaryotic cell in both the cell the ribosomes are present in the cytoplasm of a cell along with this the ribosome is present inside the two cell organelles that is called as mitochondria and chloroplast in these two organelles the mitochondria are present along with this the ribosome is also be present along with this the ribosomes are also be present on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum the ribosomes are also be present on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum so when the ribosomes are present on the surface of the endoplasmic reticulum it will fuse it will fuse rough appearance so that this endoplasmic reticulum is called as so that this endoplasmic reticulum is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum okay so along with the in the cell the along with that membrane bound organelles the non membrane bound organelles are also be present that is called as ribosome ribosome is present both in prokaryotic cell as well as eukaryotic cell it is usually present in the cytoplasm of a cell along with this the ribosomes are present inside the organelle that is cell organelle that is called as mitochondria and chloroplast mitochondria and chloroplast in these two organelle the ribosomes are present inside whereas in the on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum the ribosomes are present that ribosomes will fuse the rough appearance to the endoplasmic reticulum so it is called as rough endoplasmic reticulum okay so this is the one thing the next one is in the same okay so along with this particularly in the animal cell particularly in the animal cell it consists one more non membrane organelle in the animal cell it consists the non membrane organelle 
that non membrane organelle is called as centriose okay only in the animal cell it consists the one more non membrane organelle that is called as centrioles it is present here okay this centriole will play an important role the centriole will play an important role during cell division okay the centriole will play an important role during cell division so this centriole will produce the spindle fibers the centrioles will produce the spindle fibers that spindle fibers will help for the movement of the chromosome okay so all these are the concept will be comes under overview of the cell means what is present overview means what is present in the cell okay so in the cell it consists of nucleus as i already told okay then cytoplasm the next along with this membrane bound organelles non membrane bound organelles all these are present in the overview of the cell okay the next one the next concept is called as shape and size of the cell okay the shape and size of the cell will shows great diversity great difference in the shape and size of the cell okay first we will discuss the shape the cell may be round the cell may be round oval the cell may be round oval okay
डिस्क शेप राउंड ओवल डिस्क शेप एलेप्टिकल ट्राइंगल स्पिंडल शेप पॉलीगोनल क्यूबॉइडल columnar okay like that the shape of the cell will be very round oval disc shape elliptical triangle spindle shape polygonal cuboidal columnar irregular shape like that the shape will be varies like that the shape of the cell will be varies okay now we will discuss size of the cell in the size of the cell also it will shows the great variation difference in the size okay usually what happens the cell will be observed under microscope because of the size of the cell will be very small and some of the cells are there the size will be larger some of the cells are there the cells will be larger okay here the smallest cell is called as the smallest cell is called as mycoplasm galliceptica the smallest cell is called as mycoplasm galliceptica the length of this one is point 3 micrometer actually what happens the size may be Point one to point three micrometer. Okay, the length of the mycoplasm galliceptican is point three micrometer. Okay, whereas the biggest cell that is called as Ost 
ostrich egg cell. The smallest cell is mycoplasm, that is called as mycoplasm galliceptigum. The length is 0.3 micrometer. The biggest cell is ostrich egg cell. Then longest cell. This longest cell in the plant cell will be different and in the animal cell will be different. In the plant cell, in the plant, the longest cell is the fibers. In the longest cell is, in the plant, the fibers are present. Okay, the fibers up to, they can reach 50 to 60 centimeter. The length will be what? 50 to 60 centimeter. Whereas in the animal, the nerve cell, in the animal, the longest cell is nerve cell. The length may reach up to meter. The longest cell in the plant is fibers. It may reach up to 50 to 60 centimeter, even more also be there. Okay, the longest cell in the animal, that is the nerve cell, the length may reach up to 1 meter. So this is the longest cell. Whereas mammalian RBC, that is human, The diameter is 7 micron meter. The mammalian RBC, the diameter is 7 micron meter. Whereas in the bacteria, the length is 3 to 5 micron meter. Okay. In the human RBC, the length is 7 micrometer, whereas in the bacteria, the length is 3 to 5 micrometer. The RBC diameter is 7 micrometer. The bacteria length is 3 to 5 micrometer. So what happens? This also shows the variation, difference, diversity in the size of the cell. Okay, this also shows the difference in the cell. Thank you.